So to most people, this just looks like a big giant mess, right? But others, you'll notice we have the Raspberry Pi here, uh, which is running on uh, the Windows uh, 10 IoT uh, Core, I believe it's called, the image. And as you see, it then is uh, going straight to our little uh, breadboard here. And as you see, we have an LED, and then uh, we can zoom in. Uh, if you see uh, right behind there, we're stealing power and whatnot for that. And uh, also there, both of those are infrared uh, sensors, right, uh, to send and receive. So what we're doing here is uh, making a wearable uh, Arduino remote using the Adafruit Trinket uh, Pro 3 volt. And inside of these wearable uh, ears here that we have uh, is a servo motor, a mini servo. So the um, Raspberry Pi here is actually running uh, an app I made in Visual Studio uh, 2015, um, and then I uploaded onto the Raspberry Pi, which then communicates uh, also to the Windows uh, uh, remote here, the Arduino remote rather, um, and that little guy right there uh, literally sends a signal um, over using that over there, those pins here, uh, over back to the Arduino. And the Arduino, right now, just as a basic thing, as long as this is on, as you see, green, and uh, we clearly have power. So as long as this sucker is on, we're telling uh, our little remote over here, the uh, software it has, uh, to take it and uh, move the servo, as you see here. So we'll lift it up here, just so you can get a better view of how this is actually working. Um, oops, I think I messed it up. So I'm not sure you can see this on the video if it's working here. I don't know if you could tell. I think you can now. So as you see, as long as uh, it's going here, the cat ear moves. Maybe that's better. And then uh, to just show you, back here is where you see the servo. Since it's closed, you know, it should be closed, but right now it's open so you can see. So it's fallen out. But uh, just a mini servo, actually. That'll go back and forth in there. Of course, we'll have it moved uh, a little differently so that it's. Uh, flat so that you'd be seeing something you know more like that that's how it will be when it's sewed see more of a actual moving part which all because of the pro trinket we're using here which this uh, pro trinket could literally fit inside there now, if I'm not mistaken, you could also use something like the Gemma, uh, perhaps. I may be wrong, uh, but the Flora should have a PWM uh, that's pulsed with modulation, should have it. So this guy is so small that we could fit it in there. And then the idea is to run it going across um, the line going across here. Oops. Go across here and then make a slit through uh, the headband part right here and run it into the next pair of ears. Um, but yeah, but in here you are. Here's this mini, mini servo going. But again, it's not angled properly, so it's not working right. But you get the idea. I'm basically allowing it to have free range, so to speak. Um, but not, right? Uh, so again, it's uh, getting a sensor uh, info from the uh, IR over there because again you got to remember the pro trinket does not have a uh, serial um, unless you use the uh, FTDI uh, cable uh, which we're not using here so again through the Windows 10 uh, IOT uh, Raspberry Pi image from Microsoft and as you see it's sending uh, data um, and then it's sending over there which again that's running an actual app over here that was made in Visual Studio which again is sending signals and that red light is letting us know it's online as you see every time it 
flashes means something uh, was actually being sent uh, information wise uh, which is not often but uh, I don't think we could even tell through here uh, this video which is too bad but uh yeah I probably have to get a different resistor anyways but uh, as you see here uh, there's a wearable using the Microsoft uh, Windows 10 uh, IOT world uh, with the uh, open hardware open software uh, yeah it, it's getting cool and again there's the ear don't know if you can tell it's moving or not yeah that's why we need to fix the servo but I'll probably 3d print a, a new design here um, with my MakerBot it's dirty, which I apologize, but uh, yeah, so we'll get it done eventually, and it is what it is, but again, there's the uh, microcontroller that we're using from Adafruit, and I got my dogs barking, so that's the cue that I've been talking too long, so hopefully uh, you guys will try it out, and any thoughts, you know, welcome, you know.